So thank you very much. And uh, this panel discussion, uh, the last but not the least, is devoted to um, you know the the as, as a brainstorming session for for our community and uh, how do we make KCG the better co a conference. So uh, we had th that discussion maybe uh, during the afternoon of today. And uh, I wanted to share with the audience briefly what discussion we had. And uh, we'll open the floor for discussion as well if the audience or the participants have some additional suggestions, we are uh, all ears to that. So first of all, I would like to briefly introduce uh, the Kyoto Global Conference for Rising Public Health Researchers. Uh, we have started in 2015, and it was particularly the vision of uh, Kira Sensei, Professor Kihara here, that uh, it should aim to nurture and empower early career researchers and particularly students. Okay. And uh, uh, it serves as a platform for the exchange and sharing of ideas, lesson learned, experience, and solution to the increasing challenging health problem of the 21st century. But I think that's still very similar to the other public health conferences, anyway. And uh, our main funder is the Ministry of Education, Culture, Sport, and Science and Technology. Uh, this is the under the umbrella of um, the Japan Gateway Kyoto University Top Global Program. And uh, in 2015, we started our first um, KGC. And uh, the first year, the theme was Aging Society and Community Health. Uh, the first year, we I think Kyoto University just decided on the theme. You know, there, there, there was no theme selection, there was no theme voting, so on and so forth. So we thought, we thought about um, the, the trending issue in Japan and what would be attractive to international researchers. So the concept of aging society uh, kind of came up in the first year. And uh, the first year, although we had it, this aim of um, empowering young researchers, we didn't really quite know how, how to go about it. And uh, we ended up um, inviting uh, people from, from all over the world, uh, from say, for example, University of uh, uh, Pretoria, some uh, other university from Europe, for example, uh, Karolinska Institute and University of Bordeaux, for example. So uh, we, we were not sure how, how to go about um, our very first conference. Uh, but then this is just to show you some statistics. In the first year we had over uh, 146 people, um, 35 walks, walk-ins and uh, the rest were registered, just, uh, just to show you. And uh, yes, as I have mentioned, uh, we wanted to involve prestigious public health schools all around the world but we didn't really know how to go about it, so we randomly you know, invite people from different continents. And uh, the second year, on 2016, uh, we kind of reflected on our activity and uh, our decision. Uh, and we thought that was not the best. You know, inviting a lot of people from different universities from all, all around the world, uh, we, we tend to lose this connection and um, the network among us. And maybe you already know, and you can feel it from uh, different conferences all around the world. When you go to big conferences, you don't really talk to anybody. You know, it, it's too big, it's too huge. You can't really create your network. So um, in 2016, uh, we decided that we will strengthen our network of partner universities and uh, we put this eligibility that uh, the speakers will be early career researchers and students of our partner university only. Okay. And uh, this is also some statistics. Uh, 2016, we discussed about universal health coverage and health economics. Uh, there were roughly more than 135 people uh, participated in, in the conference. Uh, for 2017, uh, we 
uh, had this discussion on interdisciplinary approach and collaboration for health for all. And uh, this year it was more, much, much more systematic in, in you know, involving the collaboration and partnership between the partners, you know, between the partner universities. Uh, just to show you a little bit, uh, so for uh, for the eligibility, it was the same. Uh, early career researchers and students from partner universities, and the theme, uh, it was still the same. We it was Kyoto University that decided to come up with the theme and kind of you know. Uh, uh, made the announcement for a call, call for uh, abstract to Pyman University. And this was the first year we invited students to actually submit the abstract. <coughs> In 2016, it was based on um, internal selection of each university. So we asked the university to select two um, students or young researchers to participate. But 2017, it was the first year when we, we thought it was fair to, to make a, an open call to the whole school. And uh, the number of abstracts submitted from National Taiwan University, you can see six abstracts, Shulalong Khan, 10 abstracts, uh, Malaya, 13, Mahidon, 3, <coughs> London School, um, 29, and total was 61. Uh, we also were, you know, experimenting on um, <coughs> the evaluation. So we also, because the number of abstracts were increasing, we didn't really know how to, to make the selection criteria or the evaluation process. So um, we asked, for example, Chulalongkorn committee to rank the best three abstracts from National Taiwan University. So it was not really exhaustive kind of like evaluation as well. Just one university evaluating the other university. Um, also for the selection criteria, the scoring, uh, we had three criteria only, the relevance, originality, and significance. For 2018, uh, <coughs> there were lots, lots, lots of changes. Uh, from 2018 onward, we decided to form a steering committee um, it was the first time that we thought uh, everything has been only originated from Kyoto University and we have not had a lot of involvement from the partners. So it was the first year that we had uh, the steering committee asking one young researcher and a senior um, advisory panel to join the steering committee. Also we had uh, a discussion on the theme brainstorming. Uh, if you remember, initially the first three years, we just randomly, you know, came up with a theme and asking the partner university to submit the abstract. But it was the first time we asked from ideas from the steering committee, and we had we had the voting as well. So that's why this year we came up with, uh, you know, uh, consensus on implementation research and science for help for all. And as you know, now we have the steering committee. Peer reviewing was much much more systematic this year and uh, much more fair. And the oral speakers may be very familiar with, with this form. Um, it's a form that um, you're supposed to fill out your abstract form for the assessment. Uh, yes, this year we also discuss uh, how should we assess the abstract and adding one more uh, assessment in the last one. I think the quality of the abstract, if you see, uh, it was different from the previous years. And uh, this year, totally, uh, there were 204 abstracts submitted from, from, from everywhere. And very interestingly, uh, even though we put the description that we only accept partner uh, submissions, we could see, yes, very different school, uh, Columbia University, International Institute of Population Science from India, Kalinska from Sweden, McGill University, and you can see the list go on. So it, it shows that there's also an interest from, from uh, external, um, I mean from the general other people as well, not only our partner university. Uh, and if you want to take a look at the uh, number of abstracts uh, submitted from Chulang, uh, sorry, from Chiang Mai University, that's one. Um, they're a small school, so they're just starting mm -hmm. up. 
uh, Julanongkorn University, 19, uh, Kyoto University, 11, from London School, amazing, uh, 59, um, Mahidon University, 20, and National Taiwan University, 12, uh, National, National University of Singapore, that's 17, and uh, Malaya, 25. So in the end, we had 164 abstracts. That was quite a big jump from um, from 2017, and um, so yes, it was a, a, a quite a number of abstract to be reviewing on top of your research, on top of your teaching, and all. So uh, we were thinking about the mechanism to allocate um, and distribute the workload. So we come up with. Um, a scheme maybe. Uh, 164 abstract were randomly allocated to 10 sets, and each school would uh, um, evaluate two sets. So that's, and that would be um, roughly 33 abstract per one university. And uh, just, just, just to show you the comparison, maybe I, I made the point already. So we have, uh, we, ha we can see the increase in number of abstract uh, from from the previous years, so I think we're gaining popularity, more attention, more you know um, interest uh, from 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 the audience. And then that comes to the discussion of the panel uh, today of our steering committee. Um, how do we improve, or how to make our KGC community way way much better than this? So if I could invite you to the floor. <laughs> so during the discussion today that we had earlier in the afternoon, uh, we uh, you know, emphasized and discussed on the objective of the conference uh, to nurture young researchers to create the network. Okay. Sorry. To, sorry. Yeah. to create the network of international partners and uh, from, from the whole discussions, we could uh, uh, kind of group them into, into different categories. The first one is the outcome of the conference. Uh, there was a suggestion from Prof. Masna that the abstracts uh, can be developed into a full paper as a publication, as, as a publication in the supplement of um, maybe a, 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 a journal that was uh, the first um, suggestion. Uh, is, it, is it hard to see, or how, how would you like to do this? <laughs> 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 uh, should, should, should I read, or do we go point by point? So uh, the abstracts that, uh, that we have in the abstract book, we could develop into a full paper as a supplement of the uh, APAC journal, for example. That was one suggestion. Uh, the second suggestion would be from uh, Singapore, University of Singapore. Uh, do we actually have the outcome of the conference? Are there any indicators? Uh, we haven't made that clear as yet. So from now on, I think we should develop a systematic evaluation, evaluation process of, of the conference. And the third comment was um, also evaluation from the participants. How did you like the conference? What did you find interesting? Uh, what would you like to see in the next year, maybe? So uh, by the end of the conference, we would like to collect the questionnaire. And uh, on, on the topic of sustainability, uh, as I have mentioned earlier, the conference is supported by Ministry of Education, and the budget uh, may end in 2019. So from next year onward, how do we want to um, take it from you know forward, like um, in, on, in terms of sus sustainability? So we dis discuss financial mechanism. Maybe we could start collecting registration fees for participation. Uh, also, a point from Prof. Masna was uh, 
instead of providing a full scholarship to one uh, speaker, maybe that amount of money could be split in, in different uh, uh, partial amount of scholarship. And um, also um, from London School of Hygiene, Tropical Medicine, this point was raised. Students who are selected for oral presentation, they could apply for a partial grant from, for their travel cost. So maybe can we accept more oral presentation from, uh, from, from the participants or from, from the audience? But that would also lead to uh, having a parallel session. So do, do we want to have that kind of organization for our conference? Uh, maybe if the steering committee would have anything to add on. Okay. Uh, so in terms of how to uh, accommodate uh, more oral presentations, so during the discussion, we were talking about the uh, para sessions. But the alternative is to have a shorter presentation. So maybe we can hear from the participants this year about which way you prefer. Have para sessions or have shorter presentation time. Or front coming. I think the shorter presentation time is very hard. University of Malaya. I think the idea about the shorter presentation time is great actually. Um, instead of being parallel sessions where we might miss out mm -hmm. on different things. I mean, I know it happens in larger conferences where you can actually pick and choose, but in a smaller community like this, it'll be great if we can hear from everyone in a shorter manner. Yeah, so we can just make our, I think, um, for example, our presentations, which lasted quite long in the last two sessions, I mean, we can always concise it to the time given to us. So I think that's a great idea, really. Excuse me, um, so we are going to very in detail. So um, uh, as a founder of this conference, so uh, let me explain why we, we are having this session. So, um, you know, as we started this conference in um, 2015, at that time, you know, without, without any clear idea how to operate this conference. But um, one thing very clear to me, that um, it should be a platform for the young people to create a um, network and then learn each other. Because this is from my experience. Uh, I, you know, in my life, you know, today, I have an uh, experience to organize almost 50 international you know, meetings, in including the uh, very large one, you know, uh, having an audience of, of 5,000. So, but, um, you know, um, I found that, you know, you know, the, the connection I could create through that experience, very, very small. You know, um, in, in the large, also I attended that many, many large conferences to, to, to catch up with the, you know, uh, new idea, uh, knowledge, technologies. But now we have internet. You know, it is, we don't need to, you know, attend the big meeting. So we have many ways to you know, expose our study uh, internationally. So I think, you know, it is it's a time to think about why we attend the conference, how the company should be. So, um, you know, I, our, you know, in the first conference, we invited many universities from all over the world spend a lot of money, but um, it, it, it left us very little. So then we decided to, you know, not, not close, but um, to, to confine membership. So then to, to meet again and again and again to create a um, you know, friendship and partnership. This may, you know, be more, more something than, than to attend a big meeting. So my idea is to make it a um, you know, platform. So not compete with each other, not to show off you know, our you know, good data, but um, you know, uh, 
each other. So that is, I think, in, in, in the end, you know, may help, I think, for, for the people we are serving. If, if that's why, you know. So, the, the, so we would like to, you know, improve this conference, you know, so with your you know, very honest, you know, frank idea. I hope and you have yeah, good input, you know, very frankly. Can I follow you? Can I follow you? <laughs> <laughs> Following uh, Professor Kihara, as a member of a, 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 a hosting university, <clears throat> I would like to ask uh, each of the uh, steering members, steering members, uh, what values and what significance uh, do you find uh, for this uh, conference? Because there are many, many uh, international conferences, so that you are very, very busy uh, uh, throughout the year. But uh, why have you come to Kyoto? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I, would, I would like to uh, ask uh, the reason why you are here. Okay. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you so very much for whole hospitality and your invitation. Uh, in my perspective, at the I, this is my second year in KCG. Yeah. What I learned from the KCG is it is like a, a friendly platform or academic development. I, don't, I didn't mean that only the, those young researchers or the, and also the student. Because every student gonna have this type of like a friendly platform they can to be groomed from all like a scholar and expert from other country. And in my point of view why I would like our student try to encourage our student to come here every year. Because as I just mentioned, a friendly platform if they go to a very big conference, they, may, they might not say something. They might not say anything because it's just like a, how to say, culture shock or don't want to speak in English or don't want to listen to too many questions. So I think this platform is very good. But what I would like to see more from this conference is might be about how could we work together as a friend? as a collaborator and also the partner. For example, like uh, we do have so many research that in common. We have a, a common interest, a mutual interest. So it might be very nice if we have like uh, some time after <coughs> the conference to work together among those students and then develop a kind of proposal, research proposal or any kind of like uh, academic work in order to present our model to the other. This is our platform, this is our conference, that what is the outcome is. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Um, so I'm from Singapore, so it's my first time in this uh, conference as well. Um, and I, I guess I really like the uh, exchange between the Sino faculty members and uh, the younger researcher. Um, I think it's uh, really, really interesting. And I think uh, it's what uh, Maturos uh, mentioned. Um, it really facilitates the kind of uh, uh, research environment um, that uh, uh, probably a, a young, uh, early career researcher would really, really like. So for example, myself, uh, uh, as a PhD student, uh, uh, I really uh, would, would uh, like to have the opportunity to do a presentation, uh, you know, having people to give a, a lot of feedback. Um, I think it's the only way to, to improve. Um, yeah, so it has been a very, very uh, enjoyable two days. Yeah. yeah thank you. Okay, I, I, I have to uh, comment. Well, uh, first, I would like to refer to the statement uh, pertaining to the rotation, uh, the host, the host for, for this conference. I think, um, you should maintain the uniqueness of Kyoto Global Conference because this is something different. Often, I know, I understand, we have been discussing about there are so many international public health conference out there, but the fact that if you maintain the name Kyoto Global Conference and maintain the host here is something that is unique. Uh, I've been invited to many conferences, but the fact that when it's invited by Kyoto University you know, to attend, Kyoto Global Conference, I, I know something that I can expect pertaining to what you have mentioned because here is uh, the relationship here is very unique uh, between the presenters and the audience 
and, and also among those, especially those uh, the steering committees. And, and, and I think it should be maintained. Uh, but um, again, when we talk about um, coming up with collaboration, yes, I totally agree with um, what have you mentioned? <laughs> 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 I forgot your name suddenly. Okay, uh, but but maybe uh, the the, ini uh, the collaboration should be initiated by the young lecturers because we know that students they have their own project and if the young lecturer uh, uh, engage with the sort of the sort of collaboration, they can then uh, let their students for for the next or. Uh, in the next uh, conference, the students can come and present whatever collaboration that they have done together. Uh, that's all for now. <laughs> sure. yeah. um, so it's my second time here back to the KGC. I, I came first time as a, as a rising, but I was not so young at that time. <laughs> second time. Four, four yeah. 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 My hair is still rising. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I think there are many reasons that I wanted to come back, but the, the, the uniqueness here is that uh, there's, there's sort of a cohort, mm -hmm. in fact, that you kind of see the similar faces mm -hmm. uh, each time you come back. Yeah, and uh, that's very different. And, and you, you feel like you know uh, many of these people. That's, that's very different from the other conferences that we usually go. Yeah, and, uh, but I, I think there are, hopefully there will be more reasons that uh, we can we can continue this, for example, the, uh, the strengthening of, uh, of uh, sort of the, the research or the student teaching. Yeah, for example, maybe we can have a joint course mm. taught online and then come back, come here uh, as a group to, uh, to present or something. And uh, I <coughs> also thought about the idea of the, the rotation. Uh, I mean, there are pros and cons of staying in the same place every year versus the rotation. And uh, for example, the NTU, I have my dean here, and he's very happy to host <laughs> in the following years. But uh, maybe, uh, uh, but, but we, we very much like, and um, Kyoto is very special, we'd like to come back mm. again and again. Uh, but maybe we can have, like, once a year, alternative, every two years, come back to KGC, and maybe we also rotate to the collaborators' plates so that we, we get to know each other better than each other's uh, organization. Yeah, something like that. For me, uh, from Chiang Mai University. Uh, for me, it's the first time for me to uh, attend this conference, and according to my professor, my dean, I uh, have collaboration with uh, here, so it's a good chance for me to join this conference as serving committee, and also for other lecturer or uh, researcher. So I even we are a brand new faculty, and we hope that next year we can join more, like participants and I think one thing that we can uh, do in the future for example we can uh, share the project together and ask for the grant for example JSPS Thai government support something like that I think it's good so um, I'm a quantitative researcher so I like to use the facts to speak for myself and we had 59 abstracts submitted after this qualification, so I think the demand is definitely there. And um, this is my second time um, attending the conference. I came first time as a first year PhD student, um, this time as staff, um, uh, after finishing my PhD. So rising very young. <laughs> uh, but um, I think with academia, your connections and networks increase as you publish and as you uh, also focus your research interests. Um, for PhD students and when we're just starting off, it's really valuable to have such conferences um, to engage and also develop our opportunities and our skills. Um, and like colleagues have already mentioned, very friendly audience, engaged academics, kind seniors who are clearly involved and interested in this area of development. I think that is a really um, key and a really gem, a real gem of your um, work. So, you know, and, and your hospitality, place being coming from the other side of the world, um, it's um, not only like a time but also opportunity costs for a lot of our researchers. But I think 
but because of your hospitality and the Japanese way, <laughs> um, it really stands out and it really welcomes us back. So thank you. Thank you very much. I um, come from Jalo Gong University. We have uh, joined the projects at the beginning. Back to maybe five years, we come and because of the first thing, the well known of the university <coughs> that bring us and also the students interested to come in every year and consistencies of the projects of the conference that brought me but everyone. Another thing is that the opportunity, not just only for the student, but the forum open for the researchers, young researchers. Every year we try to push our staff and the researcher to join, and we try very hard to have some some scholarship to push ourselves. I mean, for the Jurong University staff and student, not just only that we get the grant from here. That's why we, and then the outcome, when, the, when we see the outcome year by year, the well-known and the forums get uh, popular at the school, at the college, that everyone know that every year we have some kinds of this conference and we wait, <coughs> the student wait to come. This is, I think that the important thing is that opportunity and consistency of the the conference. This would be things. <coughs> uh, Professor Kihara, we are very, very happy <laughs> to hear yeah, yeah, uh, all, of, all, all, of, all of, of your voices. Uh, uh, all, all, of, all of your uh, stories are very, very encouraging and uh, important. Uh, thanks, thanks again. Uh, I, I just have thought uh, because uh, Kyoto University is so generous to support uh, many scholars and the students uh, to attend this conference <laughs> for, for many years. And also, uh, Professor Lin mentioned about the cohorts. So I think Kyoto University should follow, you know, the people got the, 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 the support to attend the conference to see if they have, they have some idea of how to uh, network or collaborate with each other. So doing something like a cohort study. Yeah, very, very exciting. Cohort study of the young researchers. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We have to follow all of you. Any comments? Should we open the floor for oh, yeah, yeah, some yeah, of yeah. the suggestions yeah. or what they would like to, to hear, to see about the, the conference? Uh, thank you again uh, to the Kyoto University. So for me, my experience uh, that uh, this great honor to be selected uh, for, for the oral presenter. And also it is very prestigious that uh, I, uh, we have been selected from the university as well. So uh, looking uh, forward that how it is very important to engage ourselves, how we can engage. Then without engagement, it cannot be taken forward. So this could be idea like we have today we have see a call for proposal like a aging population secondary analysis. So maybe from the groups we can develop the proposal uh, EOI uh, then you can submit and, and and in this way we can work work together. So maybe it will bring something um, beyond the scope. So but uh, very importantly we can able to work together. Something like this. Thank you. For me, I think. Uh, the other way to make it more interesting for the future, since, since we try to have uh, some cohort, that each year we have the new phase of the student, right? Because a new PhD candidate will come, but we still have the young, young staff or young researcher also come to engage in this conference. So in the future, maybe it may be good for us among the university that we may come up with some very interesting topic that uh, we have the same interest in in some country in, in all countries it depends and then we maybe 
interesting to draw some kind of the, as a multi country doing the same uh, study and then maybe having the new PhD candidate to doing the same thing and then take a chance to, to present to working together here and then as we come about the data sharing, right? So sometimes doing the same thing in different countries may learn different things. So that may maybe be the one one strengthen for this one if you want to make it quite small and also making us a cohort to pull up and then make us to have a closer collaboration among the university in in this that have the connection with the Kyoto University maybe the other thing to do. And also this year you have a workshop after the conference that we mentioned something about it. It may be good to have a the workshop that really something like <coughs> as I mentioned before, uh, we may have the workshop that we have a donor come to involve. Some big donor they may donor a number of the grant and they may have the very good result. So the donor may would like to set up the workshop and invite the people who get the grant eh, come to present the result, some like as I mentioned, among three hours, and then the first hour may be present interesting research result, and then the other will be the chance to how we can learn from each other, because we may be interested in the same topic, but this topic is, is very new for us. And then we have the people who experience in some area, and then come to present, and then we have uh, more time, eh, maybe one or two hours to learn more, how to make it better. Like today we see a lot of the randomized control trial. In my perspective, there are a lot of the weak point. <laughs> Many people always ask about contamination. So we maybe have the workshop how to conduct a good quality of clinical trial, something like that one. Eh? It will be the topic that will be interesting for the new researcher, also the PhD candidates still then can learn something from the great experience people that we invite them to run the workshop. Well, uh, uh, for me, during the lunch time when we were discussing, um, I think that, you know, we would like to see the, uh, the uniqueness of, of this conference. Uh, and one thing that we can make it different from others is that perhaps since we are, we would like to see the uh, the new generation of researchers developing. So I suggested that we probably have some kind of uh, the, the pre-conference of gathering some of the new researchers together and then we can probably, you know, develop something together with them and then towards the end uh, they can get together and develop something and be presenting to all of us and we can give some comments and perhaps in the future uh, we might be able to create the new networking of the new researchers on top of, of the good conference that we have in here as well. I think, um, you know, uh, as yesterday that uh, as president of AMET said that um, data sharing is very important. So I think he, he said he even said it, it, it's very, you know, you know, very important also. So um, I think a good example of the, the, the data sharing uh, from our experience is with the Chiang Mai University. So um, for the last um, four or five, four years, so as we sent, you know, uh, one of our staff to Chiang Mai University for half a year. So, so, so they can't really, you know, sell their precious database. Then it, it, what happened is, um, so we enjoyed a very rapid uh, publication. You know? So it, 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 it actually benefited. If we keep our data, uh, just our service. So our capacity <coughs> to write the paper is limited. So then, in the time, we did update no use. But then, if we, we share the data, but then publish together, I think, you know, we, we can benefit. So it is experience with the collaboration with the Chiang Mai University.
you very much. Actually, just a suggestion, because we're dealing with a lot of early career researchers with regards to dissemination of results. Currently, we are using oral presentations and many oral presentations. I wonder whether it would be useful to diversify the, uh, how the early career researchers are involved. For example, introducing forums where these early career researchers or students can be involved in a forum and present their results in a forum-like manner and also maybe introduction of videos, uh, multimedia, rather than a traditional oral presentation, maybe for them to present video and then that can be followed up by a forum. Online Thank you. Forum? Oh, forum here. Invite uh, the oral presenters to to share your opinion, or the other uh, attendant. I mean, participants as well. What did you like or not like about this conference? So please feel free to share your opinion uh, during the session. It will only help us improve uh, the conference. Or yes, we have a hand. Thank you. Uh, good, good evening, Sensei. Uh, June here from Kyoto University. Um, I thought that actually there were many opportunities to create content that could be disseminated across a wider audience. Um, I really agree with Professor Kihara's point that you have the internet now, you do not need to invite everybody. Yeah, everyone can, we can share this information. I think that there should be a little bit of emphasis in the um, organization of the next conference to have more social media pres pre uh, presence um, with young people especially. Um, we had high school kids and that was my favorite part of the, <laughs> the conference by the way. Um, if we could get the high school kids involved, um, simple hashtags, sharing, everybody who's attending sharing and their thoughts, I think that would be great. Thank you. University has three uh, recommendations, two for seniors and one, one for just uh, uh, young researchers. For seniors, I think it's about time we have to uh, work as institutions to uh, plan the cooperate research on top global health issues we identify. So that bring us together to do things simultaneously many countries today. So I would like to see if a follow up after this, propose some, uh, something the next year, we really find, find a way to do it in uh, different university. Probably in one country there are several universities, and it's fine. And uh, we can work together on uh, the, the, the priority we identify and to see how can we work together. Then years and years later we come back to, to share to as a kind of forum. And this year's uh, implementation is a key. So we are not doing study uh, looking at risk factors. It's not enough. We are doing study to do the implementation and to change. So this will be one for, for at least a deeds we can work together say, how can we mobilize our own resource first? Then we are jointly to apply uh, possible funding agents or funds to do. I think this is the one. The second one is a joint course. If we like the high school, and why not our undergraduate graduate program, at least one course, and we run, and this is like a midterm for many universities or like uh, finals in Japan sometimes. So students come back here to do project together and they present. So it's a teaching. 
Because it, so every year, this time, if we have uh, seven university and every university, they are doing intern that's uh, that's um, teaching through this uh, internet already. They know each other, and we bring them here together. They are students. That's for the course, and every course we have we have the design. But I have been doing this for for two courses now, and students just love it. Okay, so this is a cross countries education. <coughs> so for young researchers, we have to have very uh, good, you know, good research findings to be presented here. And that will be the key. So we have so many submissions now, so definitely we can select the best uh, to, to fit in the slots for these two days of conference. So I think that's. Uh, uh, if, uh, I think we will have another five years, I hope, <laughs> so we can uh, continue this. This is my suggestion. Can I check with you about the time? I don't have the Uh, yes, we uh, 15 minutes past the time. I think yes. I think uh, it's best we wrapped up at this moment. Uh, thank you very much to the steering committee for, for joining us today for the discussion, for your fruitful uh, input, and uh, we hope to be able to improve and see a better uh, KGC community uh, next year and then the year on. So uh, thank you very much. Please uh, give them a round of applause.